Welcome back to my little channel. Now, I'm here to tell you about the great thing that the government is doing for us. And, of course, we're all very happy that this is happening, because we have to be protected, don't we? As long as you're willing to accept these truths, then uh, you can live a very long and um, confined life. And it's, 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 it's a difficult time we live in. Obviously, we all have to be really, really scared. So thank God, when people go out protesting against the lockdowns that we now have, not during lockdown, by the way, just during the normal daily hours that you're allowed to move about a little bit, well, obviously, it always turns into violence like this. So, yeah, I mean, we've seen Antifa run amok in America for the longest time. It's, it's dreadful. It's time that they actually stand up against it. Maybe it'll happen. But, but I'm, I'm sorry, my bad. What you just saw wasn't America. And those black-clad individuals that attacked the other black-clad individual weren't Antifa. They were the police. So, um... Yeah, there's that. I guess we are truly on our way to this brave new world order. Um, it's, it's coming, for sure. I mean, standing up against the government is not allowed, even if you do so peacefully. And yeah, this isn't America. This is the Netherlands. You'd think polarizing wasn't that bad in the Netherlands. But then again, every Western world country has the same problem. And yeah, sure, you can tell me we don't know what happened. And you're correct, because I only showed you the clip. So now I'll show you a larger clip. So what we see is a boy or a man dressed in black. I have to grant you that. Extending his arm in a peace sign, being charged from behind by burly policemen who are not readily identifiable as such, who then get covered by the policeman in uniform to prevent anyone from the crowd to come and assist the man being attacked. And uh, after a fair bit of physical violence, they drag him off and two cars of the police block the view of the person filming. I'm not sure, but um, that doesn't seem good to me. Now, unless this guy just went on a murder spree, I can understand the violence. But he didn't seem like he had been on a murder spree. And, I mean, I live in the Netherlands. I haven't heard of anyone going on a murder spree. I heard of people protesting against a lockdown. And this is how our government protects itself. And yes, I did slow the video down a little bit so it fits the narration. But how maddening is this? If you want to go outside to protest together with the BLM crowd, of course you're allowed to. I mean, you can have the most important spaces in the Netherlands and they will protect your protest. But as soon as you speak out against what the government is doing, this is how they respond. This is, well, the prelude, perhaps, to the brave new world. How dare you not be happy when we tell you to be happy? How dare you not comply when we tell you to comply? How dare you have thoughts you're not supposed to have. It's maddening, really. But then again, we're not standing up against it. Most of the Western world people are like, yeah, no, this makes sense. It's an old poem. And then they came for me. It's still true. I'm not going to do the whole poem. It's interesting, though, isn't it? How the individual is the target. The group, the collective is silent. But the more individuals you take out of the group, the collective, the smaller the group, the collective becomes. And people seem to have forgotten that the smallest group is the individual. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. I look forward to hearing your thoughts.